Skip it up and that up. Suit readings and location signal are negative. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Rich of Review Tech USA, and I would like to use the cloak mode on the nano suit to walk into a woman's locker room. Cloak engaged. You see, the nano suit works wonders. What's going on, people? This is Rich, and I have some interesting news coming out of Sony's camp today. They are going to launch the biggest marketing campaign ever in their history for the PS Vita in the States. This is going to be a $50 million marketing campaign. The theme of it's going to be called Never Stop Playing. They're going to have advertisements starting on the 26th on websites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, on TV, they're going to have ads during The Simpsons, South Park, when the NBA games are playing, when the NCAA games are playing. It's going to be crazy. They are really trying to push this console. They're even going to have ads on Sirius XM Radio. They are going all out for the Vita. So what do I think about this major marketing campaign? Sony, hallelujah, you're finally seeing the light. You're realizing that if you advertise the living crap out of your products, people will pay attention to them and people will buy them. Honestly, that's the biggest problem with Sony right now. For example, with the job that I work, I work in the computer section at stores. I'll go visit stores, I train people, I teach them about the product that my company represents, and you see everything else there. An example is Sony has a tablet in this store. People walk by the tablet like, oh, I didn't know Sony has a tablet. And that's the problem with Sony is that they put out these products and I think they assume that their name will sell them and it doesn't work that way anymore. There's too many competitors out there and you can't assume that the Sony brand is just going to make your products fly off the shelves. You have to have passion about them. You have to be into them. Look at Apple with all of their products. Steve Jobs, when he got up on stage, he could have sold you the iTerd and you would have wanted it because that man had so much passion about the product. That's what sells. People need to see that the company one lets them know that the product even exists and two has a genuine interest in the product that they're trying to sell you you can't just plop it on the market and assume that it'll sell itself look like i said before i think the vita will end up being successful but i think it's first year out in the market it's going to have a very tough time but even with its flaws which i pointed out in my first impressions video i see the potential of the console and if sony markets it right they're going to have a kick-ass system that's going to end up selling well in the long run and sony learn from this when you come out with a new product market it let people know about it get people excited about it that's what'll make sony become king again anyway ladies and gentlemen leave your thoughts on this do you think it's a smart move for sony to invest all this money into the vita or do you think they should save their money and let the product speak for itself make sure to rate comment favorite and subscribe and as always thank you for supporting review tech usa